Hello guys, I know it's a bit early, but I will be talking about the best password manager solutions for 2021. So I, I know that's a little bit ahead of schedule, but with pandemics and stuff, this feels like a good time to get started. So we're going to go ahead and just check out that, uh, you know, this looks like probably the latest uh, greatest. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the downloads page, go for the uh, the setup download, and we're going to jump right into getting KeyPass downloaded and, and going for us. And that way we can just you know, simply showcase what that is. Now, keep in mind, there's some people out and about that have complained that they've they have used KeyPass software, and for some reason it has corrupted and broken, and and now some people have lost their stuff. So that sounds pretty bad to me. Um, not sure, you know, not, not sure if that's been fixed, but I would assume so, seeing as this was back in 2007. But anyway, KeyPass is a really simple system. Uh, we, we can enable or disable the automatic update checking, but I'll just I'll have it enabled. And pretty much this is what your password manager looks like. You click new, uh, create a new database, and I'm just gonna create a database and call it wild1. So now there's going to be a master password. Messed up. Uh, the password is weak, are you sure? Yes. Database name, let's just go ahead and name it. Um, I, I guess I'll do waffles and uh, waffle house company. All right, so then we'll do okay. We can do a default, uh, you know, new entry name. Like for example, if my name was uh, Kevin Roy, K Roy, there you go, right? But um, anyway, let's just go ahead and leave this all kind of normal. You know, you could print out your emergency sheet. Uh, it could be a good idea if you wanted to, but for now, I'm just gonna skip over this. And now we have a, a brand new, uh, brand new database. So I'm gonna add a new group to start with, and we're gonna just call this like. 0365 or something, right? So within here, I could create an entry and I could say email and then um, Outlook Jim at kroy.com. And then we could generate a random password, just copy this, paste it in, change it, click OK, and we're good. Alternatively, we could right click on this and we could edit the entry quickly and uh, and just go ahead and switch the color to light green, right? Or we can just click on edit entry and we can change the password to waffles one, right? Waffle, waffles one. Okay, so now if we wanted to, we could copy the password or copy the username. So copying usernames control B, copy password is control C. And you can also um, do, I believe, there, auto type, yeah. So if you do auto type, if I click on this window, and this is my Outlook login, for example, and then I switch back to here, if I do Control V, it will automatically swap back to that app and enter in the information, assuming that you have selected the username box. Because uh, essentially what it does is, I think it just tabs down to the next and uh, does enter basically to, to pretty much try to somewhat automate logging in. So this is kind of a cool local solution if you just want to run a little program on your desktop. Uh, works pretty good. And when you close it, just make sure to save changes. You're good to go. Uh, and, and of course, keep backups because some people complain and say that they've lost their data. And if they had a good backup, um, more than likely, they, they would be able to have gotten into their stuff. But they didn't have a backup and they lost data. And losing passwords is bad. <laughs> so anyway... Bitwarden. Bitwarden is kind of like an alternative to LastPass, and you can host it yourself. So that's really cool. I mean, the app alone, when you're looking at it, it just it gives you a feel of LastPass. So really nice option if you're a fan of LastPass and you just want to run something that you can host yourself. And it's also got a free option. Uh, keep in mind, though, that there are some paid features and so when you're using the self-hosted free whatever um th there is definitely some features that are not available for example it looks like there's a sharing feature you may need to get the premium licensing or, or whatever for that and I, I think the pricing is fairly 
uh, reasonable, and it's a Bitwarden is overall a great alternative to LastPass if you're in the market. Otherwise, again, it is free if you want to, uh, you know, play around with running your own like, pretty much LastPass type of uh, feeling server. Um, also, if you're looking for something a little bit more like enterprise feeling, you can certainly use something by Click Studios called Password State. They have uh, free for five users with all of the enterprise license features available. So that's just kind of a no-brainer. Like if you're looking for something for free for five people, this is your way to go for sure. So overall, this kind of, I guess this would, I would say covers all of the best password management solutions you can select from in 2021. The other ones are a little bit excessively priced, I think, and when you have a free option that works and in functions, KeyPass, and you have Bitwarden, which is kind of like LastPass, but you self-host it, so it's on-prem, um, or or you can have you know more of like an enterprise IT type of password management system. This would be a good one for like MSSPs or or just like any. I mean, I'm sorry anybody that is providing service to a client and you're managing servers and you're just in and out with a, a lot of different passwords to manage for, you know, I mean, in this case, you could do five users, but if you needed to get this priced out, their pricing is also reasonable too. So I would say overall, uh, good pricing, but also free, good pricing, but also free. And then like, this is totally your own free solution that the, uh, the user runs on the desktop and, and they're kind of like made responsible for their own backups of their passwords or, or whatever, right? Or or have a good password reset system basically. But that would be it. So I, I think these are kind of just the best password um, password managers of 2021. Thank you. If you have any favorite password managers or you think there's something that I should have added to the list or mentioned, please comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends.